Claire from Diamond Painting Nerd. I'm back with another unboxing from Fan Cells. I have picked out some really fun items to um, share with you. So let's get into the bag. Um, I haven't looked at any of these. I always have to open the parcels just to check where they've come from. Um, so I know prior to filming the video. So let's see what items I have chosen this time. I've got quite a few. So let's Let's dig them all out. Okay, that's it. So, one diamond painting, and then we have one, two, three fun projects, four fun projects, and then some drills. So, let's do the diamond painting first of all. So, this one here, I've actually picked this up for a friend. Um, I got another one of these. My husband and my friend are huge um, Newcastle United supporters, and um, he saw what I'd got for my husband. I said, you know what? I will um, see if I can find one, um, another one on the website. And then I saw Fan Cells sold them. So it is just the Newcastle United crest. Now, if you are not from the UK, uh, the Newcastle United are a football, well, soccer, should I say, um, if you are American, soccer team. And um, this is just their logo. And so, oops, I didn't mean to do that. So I just wanted to show that if you haven't seen in, because um, it would have been a really uh, a video long, long time ago, like one of my, not long, long time ago, I've not been going that long, but um, it would have been one of my earlier unboxings. But I wanted to show actually these are, um, these are available in many, many places. So I picked this one up from Fan Cells, which is awesome. So 30 by 40, I would imagine it's probably going to be a little smaller than that. It's 35 by uh, 24. Uh, 24 and three quarters so it is slightly smaller than advertised which is pretty typical with the budget canvases anyway um i think it's just it's generic enough like the, the pattern itself is generic enough to come out and not be a problem there are 19 colors in total which is quite a lot actually seeing as the background is all one color all one color in that background so i'm glad it's not me doing this one um, it is round drill and um, the canvas number is on the packet of drills so it'll make it nice and easy for me to be able to uh, find these. Actually, I'm gifting it so um, maybe maybe I won't need to find these but um, yeah, they're all in pre um, individual pre-sealed bags and so it'll make it nice and easy for, um, for him to do this one. So that is the first one that I picked up. Only one diamond painting in this haul because I found some really fun projects. So let's do this one first so um i i did start as cross stitching three years ago um and the idea of cross stitch and diamond painting is exactly the same um and so i saw um i saw some harry potter uh bookmarks that i wanted to do but unfortunately they were out of stock and i always say this if you see something grab it straight away because they go pretty quick um, and so I went in and had another look and I changed to get in some cross stitch ones. So I chose these ones. They are the Minnie Mouse. Uh, the patterns are on the back of the leaflet here. Um, they are on 14 count Ada. They measure at 5.4 by 18.8 centimetres. So there will be some, um, some of the edge left over by the looks of things. There are only nine colours in total, so and it does tell you to use two strands um, to stitch, and they're all whole stitches, so no, no messing around with half or quarter stitches. In the pack, um, there are two needles to, um, to get you started. There's also a marker pen. I don't tend to use these, to be honest. I just follow, um, I follow the pattern on here. They're small enough for me to be able to follow. And then um, there's a, it's just the one tassel. Oh, okay. Maybe have I dropped it somewhere? Oh, okay. So maybe I'm short a tassel by the looks of things because I think there should be one on each bookmark. But that's fine. That's fine. I don't necessarily need a tassel on both of them. Um, but yeah, I think it should actually come with two tassels. Maybe. Yeah. So just something to bear in mind. And then we've got um, the floss card with all of the... Um, the floss on and they do have the dmc floss numbers on the actual um the actual uh, pattern so we have this here um so i'm looking forward to this is just going to be a fun little project to sit on the sofa and um complete 
So let's pop all of that back in here and that and that. And they can all go back in there. And that'll go in my cross stitch bag. But when I want just a little project to keep me busy, um, I can grab that out and do those. And then I picked up, these are all diamond painting projects now, so I picked up some fun stickers. I love making stickers. Um, just such a fun, small, easy project to do. And I got some Harry Potter inspired ones. So we have... Uh, there are just, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine stickers on here in total. So we have Hagrid and Harry and uh, Voldemort. I think that's meant to be Ron with the, with the ginger hair. Then we've got Professor McGonagall. I think there might be, have to be Draco Malfoy. We've got another Harry, Hermione, and then Dumbledore. Um, so those are the stickers. And then you get your standard toolkit. And then we get a small pack of drills. So it doesn't look like there are many colours in here. Let's take a quick look. And see. And I don't think there's any special drills. They're just all standard round drills by the looks of things. So we have some black, some white. Uh, there are no uh, DMC codes on these. So if you want to keep them then you'll need a colour chart to be able to match up the colours um, for any spares that you've got. But we have black, white, peach, green, like a light yellow, a brown, a red, like a brownie yellow, a sunshine yellow, a grey and then a light blue. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 11 colours in total. So nice small amount to... Um, to work with and these work up really really quickly so and because I scrapbook these make great embellishments for scrapbook layouts as well and we went to the Harry Potter studios in um, in London uh, quite a few years ago now we are planning on going back um, but when I scrapbook my photos of those um, which is an ongoing thing um, then I've got some extra embellishments that I can use which is really fun so if you have hobbies that cross over um, if you're into paper craft then um, these are really good to be able to um, use as embellishments then I picked up let's look at these then I picked up these ones so I don't remember what these are so I'm gonna have to oh yes we're gonna learn together I remember standard toolkit with some baggies as well and then these are keychains. So let's get these out and take a look. These are Mickey Head inspired. Here we are. And they are they're a nice thick thickness as well, nice thick acrylic. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I can feel the stickiness on the edge of these, so I think they are definitely going to need sealing. They are double-sided, so you do diamond paint both sides of this and then for sure um, get them sealed. Yep, so that's that side and then just make sure that we have got... Yep, so double-sided, which is what I love. And that's a sign of quality, I think, sometimes where you've got a double-sided um, rather than a single-sided key ring. So we have six of those. Then we also have the chains and the lobster claw clasps to go with them as well. So let me pop all of those back in there. And the reason I got these, I thought they were really fun as bag charms um, as opposed to key rings. And in addition, you can use them for other things as well. So if you have a, um, a Disney inspired Christmas tree, maybe you could hang them as ornaments. Um, or one other thing that I'm thinking of is to give them away as part of um, my gift. So when I, once I wrap my gift up um, and put my ribbon around to attach one of these as a little extra on the outside of the uh, outside of the packet, or the parcel. So those, and then the drills that come with it. Let's see. Oh, we've got some specials by the looks of things. Oh. Okay. Oh, they're all hidden in there. Okay, let's take a look at the standard drills first of all. Again, there are no DMC codes on this, so um, some crystals do come with them, some don't. Um, it is very difficult trying to match up crystal colours, uh, trust me, I, I'm trying. Um, so we'll see how many I've got left at the end as to whether I keep them or not. But we've got some silver, 
And then we've got two types of red, like a deeper red and a lighter red. And then we have two different types of green there as well. Then we have this kind of burnt yellow and then standard 310 black acrylic drills. So those are the standard drills. And then we have some dome uh, sphere ones, some little sphere, uh, what's the word? Pearly ones, larger. Oh, these are fun. Okay, so these are gold metallic teardrops, but, but with facets on. I've not seen any of those before. So those should be fun to use. And then we have some teardrop um, pearlized ones as well. Some little pink ones. Again, the teardrop pearlized in purple. We have some larger orange pearlized ones, teardrop ones too. Then we've got two of these little, um, almost, I think they've got like an AB coating on because they are rainbow and they're faceted, those ones. Then we have some teeny tiny little um, peridot colour teardrops. And then we have these half dome red ones too. These are quite common um, that come up in these specials, special drills. So yeah, it's really nice to have some specials um, included with the projects as well, rather than just the standard drills or crystals. So we have those as a fun project to complete. So I'll have to get those sorted sooner rather than later because I'll need those for for this Christmas. So then we have these, and I've not seen anything like this before, so I was intrigued to know what these were like so standard toolkit again and then they we have these are larger than i was expecting them to be wowzers okay so these are acrylic acrylic perspective perspective pieces and um, they are a plastic uh, they're not as thick as some acrylic pieces um but they are sturdy enough for um for the use and these are photo frames. So they, um, I think they showed a picture of you hang them from the Christmas tree. Um, so it leaves you a white space to be able to add in your own photo. So there are four, yeah, there's four in total. So we have this little gnome one. Then we have this gingerbread house. Then we have a reindeer. And then we have this wreath with the snowman and the gifts at the bottom. So these are going to be super fun. And how fun would this be to make these and give them away as gifts to loved ones? So if you typically give a um, Christmas card with a photo on, how fun would it be to include one of these instead? So let's take a look at the drills and see what we've got. Now, these do look like standard crystals. I don't think there's any specials in here at all. Um, again, there's no codes on these, so it will just be a case of matching them up. But we have some silver, some green, some red, some yellow, some very dark orange, a very light blue, standard 310. And we have that dark orange again. OK, so this is more of an orange and this is more of a darker yellow. Then we have, uh, no, they are different. OK, so... To the naked eye, these three colours look very similar, but they look like they're graduating, actually. So we've got kind of a yellow, a mid, and um, like a mid-dark, and then a dark-dark. Okay, so we've got those. And then we have another train of um, a really bright yellow, pink, um, that grassy green, blue, beautiful blue, and then um, the darker green there, too. So those are the drills. And then it also comes with some red ribbon as well in order for you to be able to hang these. Now, I think, yeah, they are only single sided. Um, they do have, I think, yeah, they've got the plastic cover on the front and the back. So the back is just to protect it so it doesn't get any dinks in transit. Um, but then you just have your front cover um, where you would peel it back. And I don't think, I think it will just be uh, the diamond painting area that should be sticky. Let's see. Oh, no. OK, so the middle's sticky as well. So that's where you would stick your photo. So they are fully covered, but they are going to need sealing by the feels of things because they, they've got glue over the whole thing. So, yeah, they are going to need sealing. So bear that in mind um, if you were thinking of um, purchasing these. But I think they're super fun um, and they were so reasonably priced as well. So another fun little project to um, do at Christmas. 
So let's pop those in there. And let's pop the little frames back in. Okay, fast forwarded through that bit. There was too much rustling going on. Um, so yeah, another fun little project to complete um, for this Christmas. And then the last thing that I ordered was set two of the AB drills. So they offer, these are such, such good value. If you were wanting to get some AB drills, I 100% recommend uh, getting these ones. So I picked up a pack last time and I picked up, there are two different sets. So you can't get a full set of AB drills, like all the colours, um, but they've got two different sets. They've got set one and set two, and then you do it in square and round. So I've already picked up set one. Let me grab you those. Okay, so here's what I got from um, last time. So I got, um, I've just picked up these pouches from Amazon um, and I've popped all of my drills my ab drills in these little bags and this is this is what i've got this is how many you get i've got an extra couple of bags here that i actually need to um i need to sort out because i don't think i've got the, the the stickers for them for whatever reason the sticker sheets that i had didn't have these uh, um these dmc codes on i'm not sure why but there we are so um i have yeah i have all of these and then actually probably going to need to order some more bags um i'll get those off of amazon and then what i do is just um, load them up in these bags and then if i want to replace a um a drill with a um with a, an ab shade of it then i can just come to my box of um ab drills so you get i can't remember how many you get we'll count them together um but this is the second set so i know that i don't have any repeats um in here um back in this one so i think the set that i got last time had both 310 and 3865 and then a whole load of other colors um but these sets have got different um certainly different ones to what i've got in here so i've got um one two three four Oh, these are escaping. 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 we have got some loose ones in here so i will just get rid of those this is what happens when they're um they're put in the bags and then they are they just kind of escape out the top so there are 35 different colors in each pack um, and it always gives you a really nice mix of different shades i can see this set actually has the five 200s and when you're looking on the website, it actually show, it tells you the DMC codes that come with it. So if you're looking for a specific colour or set of colours, go and have a look at that list of DMC codes. Um, and then <clears throat> that will enable you to decide which set you want. These are so, so inexpensive that I wouldn't even think about um, ordering just the one set. I'd get both sets. Um, I think they were something like, and forgive me if I've got this wrong, but I think they were something like £7 or $8, $9. They were so, so cheap. And you get five grams in each bag. And they are, they are acrylic. Although I don't see any imperfections in the bottom of these. So... Uh, okay i can see a slight dip okay so they are definitely acrylic um but these are such good value so if you're in the market for ab drills um i would 100 percent recommend um picking these up i've looked at the quality of these when i've put them into the pouches and honestly i literally cannot i cannot complain um there's no trash in them i don't see any little off cuts um they're really nicely cut i haven't worked with them yet i haven't actually managed to get them on a layout yet um a um a, sorry a layout i haven't managed to get them on a canvas yet but um they are they look they look good and w when you open them and you you actually have a look up close to um to drills especially from some of the premium companies and you look at them i've looked at these in the same light they are so perfectly squared um i don't seem to think i'm going to have any issue with these at all so yes the second set of ab drills i'm really excited to get those uh, put away into my um 
AB storage over here. Um, and that was it. So quite a few fun projects. I've got some photo frames, some stickers, some key rings, some cross stitch um cross stitch bookmarks um ab drills if i didn't already say that and a diamond painting canvas and um so so reasonably priced so thank you so much to fan sales for sending these bits and bobs over to me um i love everything that um, i've had so far from them um and yeah i think i'm going to end the video there so thanks guys for joining me if as always you've enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up i'll leave everything linked in the description box down below for you so go ahead and take a look and um, any special promos and stuff um, I'll leave that also linked in the description box um, drop me a comment on the video if you have um, anything to that you want to add or if you just want to say hello um, and I'll see you all again in the next video bye guys <laughs>